Hey everybody, how's everybody doing this fabulous Friday it is? So let me go ahead and tell y'all up front, I got this little Duma Jigga on microphone because I'm doing a recording on a webinar also. So we're doing it all at the same time. And I figured I'd invite you all, my social media audience, while I did the webinar. All right, as you come in, let me know who you are, where you're from. You know how I love to do it. It is the 17th of the month, and I am going live, as I will do every single month on the 17th. Um, that was the commitment I made with my, um, oh, I love the likes. That was the commitment I made with my um, um, coach. So I am going to do it every single month. And this, like the other Friday, it's one of those ones I really, 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 really want to go to bed. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to pose a question to you all. I have the opportunity to go in front of a... Um, prominent, um, someone who really knows what they're talking about, um, social media marketer, a, um, a guru in his own right um, for social media and marketing and monetizing this kind of stuff. And I don't know what questions to ask. So of course I'm going to do some more research on it. But in my research, I'm asking you all, if you all know questions that I should ask or what some things that are very important to ask, please send me those questions. Um, I want to make it beneficial to all of us that are on, um, in my network anyway, um, and I want to learn and take full advantage of his time and this opportunity to learn from him. Um, he is by far someone who um, does very well in their craft and I want to um, soak up and learn as much as I can while I have his attention next week. So um, this weekend I'll be doing a lot of research on questions to ask, things I should know, ways I should develop myself in that area. So if you all know anything, let me know, please, 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 please. Um, but going on to the session. And like I said earlier, I am recording a webinar, so you'll see me look over this way a couple of times um, just because I want it to be kind of like I'm paying them some attention. So you'll see me look over that direction a good bit too. But tonight we're going to talk about um, 20 hits, um, 20 hints for home buyers or um, ways that you can purchase your home and be successful. This week I've gotten a couple of questions about um, credit repair questions, what your scores need to be to purchase a home, um, how long should you have done credit repair before you purchase a home, um, types of loans. Um, next month on the 17th we'll have Miranda Anderson with us. Um, she was actually going to be on tonight. Um, but due to circumstances beyond her control, we switched that to next month. So on next month, we'll be doing a live broadcast from the office. I mean, we were supposed to be at the office tonight, um, but I've got stuck here at this office doing way, 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 way too much stuff. So I'm going to make that a priority for next month. But back to our 20 tips for home buyers. Um, when it comes to purchasing a home, as you know, you can never have too much information um, when shopping for your home. There's a list that I like to go by, and I use this a lot with college students when they're going in the home buying process, um, different things that they need to, um, need to have um, established before they even begin to purchase a home. Um, Buying a home, it allows you and it gives you a sense of belonging, um, for lack of a better word. 
Um, it allows you to accomplish um, financial goals and it, it betters yourself. Um, you want to understand how the proposed home purchase fits into and affects your existing financial situation and the goals um, that you have, especially for savings. So depending on what age you are currently, you want to make sure that um, that you're set for your saving of your accounts, excuse me, for your savings account. So you want to have that ready to go also. Um, you would hate to be house rich and then be financially poor, which then results into foreclosure. And if you know me, I love foreclosure status. I don't like the people to going into foreclosure, but I do like the foreclosure status um, because that's where I find good house deals. Um, and it makes it a whole lot less expensive for me to buy the house once you've gone into foreclosure. So, um, not that I want you to go into foreclosure, please hear me well, but that's how a lot of investors get their deals. So you want to make sure your personal finances are in order before you even begin to purchase. Um, you want to have a savings, do some investments, insurance or plans before you buy, if you go down that route. Um, hey Bishop. You don't have to go that route, but you can go that route. Um, your mortgage lenders, and again, as I stated, Miranda's going to be on next week, and we're going to get into a deep discussion next week on mortgage lending. And you can send your questions. If you all have questions, email me your questions. Inbox me your questions. You can email me any questions that you may have on... Um, on home purchasing and the mortgage lenders because that's a whole nother set. But you want to make sure your mortgage lender and the agent that you use um, can tell you how much you can afford to borrow. So you will see the lender first. Most agents now require that they um, have a pre-approval from their clients before they even take them out to shop. So that's always one thing that you want to do. Um, they can only tell you the maximum that you'll borrow and what your payments would be, and give or take. Nine times out of ten, they overestimate your payments, so that's a good thing. That's what you want. Um, also, the next one is the best time to think about selling a house is before you get ready to buy a house. Um, you want to buy a house that gives you equity. Um, you want to buy a house that's in a good neighborhood. And when I say good neighborhood, I mean a house that is um, solid. The current values in that neighborhood are going up. You can Your realtor should be able to do a look back on that neighborhood for at least six months to a year and see that the values are going up in that neighborhood. Um, I just did a transaction with my friends. And when I tell you, I am jealous, I'm jealous. And I'm not easily jealousified, um, <laughs> but they got an excellent deal on their home purchase. Just easy as that. Um, so you want to make sure that you're able to get with someone who's able to do a, a good CMA on your property that you're looking into buying. Um, that's very, 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 very important when it comes to um, purchasing a home. Let's see. The next thing you want to make sure that you have with your valuations, um, with your CMAs, um, again, we're still talking about the best time to think about selling a home is before you buy it. Um, you want to make sure that your home's foundation is solid. Um, where is the home located? What is it close to? Are the neighborhoods um, school systems? Are they close to the schools? Are they close to... Um, run down parks are there mobile homes around um, you would want to know if there's anything to do with water 
what bodies of water are located there. Is it a lake? Is it a pond? Is it a fishing pond? Um, all these things can create value. Um, some good, some bad. But depending on where it's at, it can still yet create value. And you want to make sure that the values that you're creating are all good values. Um, number five is real estate is a good long-term investment. So your, your money grows over time. Um, depending on the interest rates that you were able to receive, the, um, the home values can go up periods and as well as they can go down periods. And sometimes you'll see that going down. Recently, a lot of neighborhoods saw that the last couple of years. Um, now, recently, it's coming back up, but they were in their down periods during that time. If a homeowner during most of your adult life, um, your home should enjoy most appreciation. So that you can probably can see. Um, and some people like to rent. If you're moving to an area that you're not familiar with, the neighborhoods or the values in certain areas, you can rent until you get yourself familiarized. Find out what school systems are the best school systems where you're at, where you're looking to go. School systems are the number one player with home values. The number one player to home values is the school system. So if it's in a good high rank school, your home values are going to be good and higher. And it's it correlates everywhere. That's nationally. That's not just here. That is everywhere. You can check it out in your own community. Check and see what the values are where you're at now. And see what, see what numbers you come up with. Um, my, my FaceTime, for whatever reason, over here, doesn't want to stay on. Sorry guys on Facebook, it's acting crazy. I don't know why y'all keep going out. These other two Facebooks are on fine and Instagram is on fine. Y'all doing good on the webinar? They're doing good, so I'm not sure what you're doing. Um, our next one is, um, you want to make sure you have the courage to be contrarian. So you want to be able to be objective and see the values differently in different homes um, than what you have now. So if you go into the best time to buy is usually at the bottom of the real estate cycle when no one else thinks it's a good time to buy. This is the perfect time to get with a realtor. Get a good, good realtor who can tell you what the home values have been doing in the area that you're looking to purchase within the last 12 months. If you're thinking this is going to be like your forever home or a good place to put your roots in the ground, you might want to look at going, um, look at going three to five years back and see what the history has been in that neighborhood those last times again remember the values can go up and go down so it will depend on what will fluctuate so depending on where you're you're at and what your neighborhood and all that stuff is, your, your values can change so you want to make sure that you look at those two when you're um, looking at values um, again I'm gonna skip over the mortgage stuff because we're going to talk about that next month um, the big, big, big one, and let's see what time it is. This is the one I'll stop with. Um, number nine is what you don't know is usually what gets you in trouble. That is so, 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 so true. And how do you know what you don't know? You don't know. <laughs> so, um, you have to put the people in place, um, Remember, when you're buying a house, that's a lot of money to be spending to make the decision yourself. Um, it can make or break you seriously. Just imagine if you purchase the wrong house. You go find this really nice house. I mean, it's everything you wanted. It's everything you wanted. You loved it. 
but it's in the wrong location. That's the only thing that's the downfall of it. It's the location. You probably got a slam up good deal. You live in South Carolina. Parents live in Detroit. All of a sudden you have to move back to Detroit and you need to sell it. But it's in the wrong location. You've made a boo-boo. Because the value that you thought you could get for that house, you probably cannot get for that house. So having the right people in place that can tell you that, saying, um, no, this probably is not a good um, neighborhood for value. That's pretty much all a realtor can tell you. They can't tell you if it's a neighborhood of crime, you have to do that research yourself. They cannot tell you if, um, if child molesters live in that neighborhood, you have to do that research yourself. Um, but for value, we can tell you this, this house probably has good value long term or it doesn't have good value long term but you want to put those people in places that are able to tell you that if you have um, a mortgage lender a realtor a good attorney hey Monet a good attorney a good um, um, appraisal a good inspector a good surveyor you would get the answer that you need on all that. And those are all the different parties that go into a good transaction. And there are probably more that go into a good real estate transaction. But you always want to make sure that you have, you're putting the right players on your team, which will greatly, greatly, greatly reduce your likelihood of problems with your purchase. I'm um, invest the time to find the best possible agent that you can. Um, I don't just speak about myself. I know that I know what I'm talking about, but there are lots of other good agents that are out here, but there are a lot of bad ones and I've heard some of them. So you want to make sure you get a good one, one that knows what they're talking about, knows how to do what they're doing, knows where to go for the resources. If they don't know the answer, they know where to get the answer. It's not about knowing everything. It's about knowing where to get everything. So you want to take that time to invest in the best possible agent for you. Be patient. Knowledgeable agent can add great, 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 great value to your home buying transaction. All right, be too smooth. Thanks so much for coming. See you later. Um, but yes, a... Um, a good agent can have, add great value to your home buying purchase. So we are about to go. I said 30 minutes and it's 631. So that time goes by fast. Next month, it will probably be an hour or more. Um, again, we have Miranda Anderson, who is a lender here. Um, she does a lot of lending locally. Um, she has probably... I'm going to say single-handedly refinance probably eight, eight loans that I know of. And then she's helped purchase for friends probably 10 to 12 loans. So she was a great resource to have. Wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, so she is going to be on with us next month on the 17th. We're going to start at six o'clock again. Um, we'll be coming live from the new office then. So... We won't be here. We'll be at the new office on next month. Um, I was going to show it to you all tonight. Like I tell you, I'm still here. And there's, if you look all around, there's stuff everywhere. Because I've been working since about 6.45 this morning. So, we're going to sign off and find our way to the shelter, to the bed. And guys, we love you. Send your questions. Again, any lending questions that you have, send me an email. Um today this week don't forget i may send out a reminder actually i will send out reminders i'll set that up tonight before i leave um to automatically send out some reminders to let you know send me your questions for next month anything that you might have any questions you would um want her to address from any standpoint um send those to me and we will make sure we get those to her um for next month 
Our question for our giveaway this week is, what is the number one factor for home values? So you can send me those questions. I'm not gonna stay online and wait for you all tonight, but send me those answers and I will give you all till Wednesday. Wednesday to get those answers back to me. And first one gets it, gets a $25 cash gift card. $25 gift card. But it's cash. Like a Visa gift card. There we go, I said it wrong. $25 Visa gift card. So we will get those out to you all. Um, hopefully everyone is having a good week and enjoying themselves. If not, let us know, and we will pray that your week gets better. Okay? Love you guys, and we will talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye, Instagram.